Off-leash dog parks are a big part of our RV lifestyle. We visit them all over the country with Bo. But of all the parks we have enjoyed, one in particular stands out. Come on, Bo. Bo is patiently waiting for me to open the gate. And, uh, Traveling with a dog in an RV can be quite the challenge. And uh, in this video, we're going to show you what uh, apps we use, what products we use that make it a little better. And we also want to remind you that we have a free guide about uh, RVing with dogs that uh, is absolutely free. I'll put a link uh, in the uh, description where you can go and download that for absolutely nothing. It's absolutely free and it will help you with lots of resources. So come on along, we'll show you what it's like with Bo. We have a lot of fun with them. We certainly do. As soon as you get to the campground, you want to secure your pet. If you have a little dog, there are some portable pens that you can bring and your dog will be good. But if you have a big dog like Bo, you might want to hook him up to a picnic table. Or what we like to use is on the back, our hitch. Just drop this through, hook it up, and make sure Bo's leash isn't too long because you don't want him to get into any kind of trouble. But Bo is good. We're going to take a look at some apps that can help you be a very effective pet owner. TrekTeeves Dog Walk app is an exercise tracker for dog walks that uses GPS to record your dog walking route and display it on a map, complete with distance and time. Additional features include the ability to view a record of the dog walk routes, share them with friends and family, or use them to record activities free for iOS and Android. Pet First Aid from the American Red Cross is the first aid guide and knowledge base for owners of dogs and cats. The app provides instant access to simple first aid lessons, step-by-step -step guides, and a nice selection of how-to videos. There's also a section for vet contact details. It's free for iOS and Android. There are times when you just have to make arrangements for your pet. You have something you have to do where you just can't include them and you don't want to leave them. And that's when we use a pet service called Rover. It's kind of like having family that you can leave your pet with. You feel secure, you leave them, you know they're going to be well taken care of. They send you a picture of your pet every day if you leave for an extended period of time. You just feel comfortable leaving your pet in their care. We have used it all across the country and not only us, but both couldn't be happier. It's really hard to find a place where you can t let your dog run free on the beach and they want to be on the beach too, just like you do. And this is just a delightful place. The dogs can run, interact, play. It's shallow sand and uh, the dogs really have fun here. Let me show you another resource that we rely on a lot. It's called bringfido.com. It's a website and it lists hotels, restaurants, and all sorts of places. Now, now here's the, the secret. Uh, we don't need a hotel because we're in an RV. But if I drop it down, go to activities. That's what we do. We start with activities and then I'm going to type in uh, our destination now where we are right now. We're in Fort Walton Beach, Florida and bingo dog friendly activities. Liza Jackson Dog Park and uh, that's an awesome place. That's the one that we just showed you. Description is divided into small and large dog parks. There's a hose station to get salt water off the dog. Uh, they have water fountains. Uh, there's good reviews there. And of course, it has a dog beach. Okay, Bo is awaiting his favorite place at the dog park. And uh, <laughs> he constantly uh, wants to go here as we travel the different loops. This is where he uh, always heads because it's down this path he knows that we find the dog park beach and the dog dock. There goes Bo. Bo, as a Norwegian elk hound, is kind of like a sheep. He's got a double coat of fur, so he doesn't like to go all the way in. Once, though, he did. 
And that was because his buddy Bruno bumped him, and so Bo went in, and so he does know how to swim. We saw him swim. He can do that. The benefit of having 24 acres of off-leash dog park is your dog can have a blast. I mean, this is so much more of a walk than when we take him for a walk on a leash. He can look around, explore, chase an occasional squirrel. Once in a while, he finds another dog and they engage and play and have a really good time. It is such a nice place to go for you and your dog. And you never know who you'll meet at the dog park. One day, Bo met a pet pig. Go for a walk. Come on, Bo. 